Hey guys, Sarah from Aaron's Outdoor, and today I'm fishing with a couple friends, Edward and Zach here. We're doing some fishing on a river that's got a good population of both shoal bass and spotted bass. And I'm trying out a new lure today, the Bass Pro Shops Chaos Shad. It's basically just a copy of the Chapa. The tail is almost identical, but the main difference is that these Chaos Shads weigh a ton more. Like a 90 size Chaos Shad weighs like one and a quarter ounces versus like half an ounce for a Chapa. So I think that'll be good for castability, but I think it'll be bad as far as like the fish being able to shake the lure off because the heavier lure is a little bit easier for that fish to shake off and get out of its mouth. But I've already caught a couple on it today, lost one right at the boat. So I think we'll be on a lot of fish today and hopefully it'll be a fun day of topwater river fishing. There's one, it's a little better. It's not that big, but it's not bad. It's a Sholey, or it might be like a hybrid, but it's got some Sholey in it at least. He's not that big. That's a good sign, man. Ooh. Oh, he came off. Should have grabbed the net. He shook one of the two hooks on that. That uh, jump. Cast up one of those trees. This one's tiny. Oh, he got me stuck on the other side of that log. He's not as small as I thought. He's up. A, he might have gotten off. Oh no, he's still on there. Oh, oh shoot. I have two. Oh my gosh. No way. One's hooked in the belly, but. Oh my gosh. I hope they don't come off. One might come off. Did he? Oh, he did. The one that was hooked in the mouth came off. I had two on. Yeah, no. I so, one probably like swiped at it. The one that was hooked in the mouth came off, which is weird. Dang it, man. I didn't even notice there was. I wonder if like the. I wonder if this other one was just under the tree and happened to get hooked, or they actually both ate it. I don't really know. All right. My second fish I've landed. I had that one that came off right there. I should have grabbed my net for, but we almost had a double right there. That was kind of crazy. I've only had one double ever on the chop though, so that would have been my, my second one. Let this one go. Oh my gosh, that was wild. He like jumped out of the water for that. Oh my goodness, he came off. I, that one hit twice if it was the same one, which it most likely was. I mean, that was wild the way he hit it. I hope I got that on camera. <laughs> that was a crazy sequence. It's too bad I didn't land the fish, but that right there should have fish. Right in front of this tree should. Right in front of the tree. He's barely hooked. There's another one with him. Dude, they really group up in this river. Ew, dude, the other one was big. Gosh, there's a big one like right there. It's not too big, but dude, oh my, that's a giant. That's a giant shoal bass. That might be a 20 incher. Zach, look down in the water right there. Put your glasses on. Right there. I see it. Oh my God. Keep reeling, Edward. That was a giant, dude. That makes me want to throw a bigger lure. All right, another little shoaly. Throw him in the water there. Um, and I just saw, like, right out from this tree right here, there was one that I think might have been 20 inches. At least 19 that just swam around in the shallow water. Nice. Oh, that's a, well, it's a hybrid. Hybrid shoaly and Yeah. I might have gotten that. I might have gotten that. Let's see what it looks like. It's a shoulder, right? Yeah. I don't know. You want to, do you want a picture of that one? No. Okay. <laughs> Get it like the 0.5 so it looks big. <laughs> Wait, I, I'll do it. Just hold. Oh, come on. Just had one miss the bigger size. Got him. Not bad. Please don't come off. All right, little spot. That was my first cast with this bigger size. It didn't really result in a bigger fish. It's maybe a 12 and a half inch spot. 
Well, I don't know if he's even 12 and a half. He's like probably just another little 12 incher. Oh. Wait, cast where I just got hit, Zach. See this ripples over there? Ah, well. Yeah, keep going. Go right next to that tree. Should be good. Well, I meant like, it's fine, but. Oh, let's go. Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna try to net it for you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna screw it up. Oh my. There we go. Here, paddle up to me so you can get it. Thank you, Aaron. There you go. <laughs> I was really, like, my neck got stuck. I thought I was gonna screw it up and it was gonna come off while I was. I was like, I better not ruin this for Zach. Of it with uh Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Nice. I, I got that on camera. Alright, come over here. This is awesome. He's got a chubby belly, dude. <laughs> nice. Zach with his second fish of the day. Yes! <laughs> I don't know if I explained that y'all like aren't really big fishermen before this. Yeah, you should just be like, took two moves out, try <laughs> to get him to catch fish. <laughs> well, drag's real loose. It's nothing too big, but... Bro, he's barely hooked. We're all only getting like one hook. There we go. Might be my biggest one of the day. That's the type of hit that gets you excited. All right, little 14 inch spot, nothing too big. I haven't caught anything too big today. I think a couple of the biggest fish I've had on came off right at the boat, but hey, we'll take it. That was an awesome little hit. Let him go there. And man, we're like just, we're really just getting started with, a di with today. We're gonna really have to pick up our pace because we've got pretty decently long float today. So I think we'll be on top water fish, hopefully all day. It's pretty nice and overcast right now. Well, Edward's over here beating me. I might, I might not help him get anything else untangled. It might be thunder. What if it starts like pouring down on me? There we go. Not bad, actually. You got one too? Top? Oh, well, still, you got a hit, but top water is insane right now. I mean, it's just... It is very overcast, and this is supposed to be a good area for topwater too. Body of water we're fishing, so. There we go, a little shoaly. He might have a little spot in him. There's kind of a lot, you know, there's a lot of spots and shoalies in here, so there's also a lot of hybrids. All right, another little fish on topwater, a little spot shoaly hybrid. Six to eight right now. I'm probably not going to use the worm, really, so. Oh, I'm cheating? Is that what it is? No. I'll still, I'll still get ahead of you. Whenever it's overcast, it's good for topwater. And just fishing in general, so. I think we're probably getting rained on. There we go. Perfect spot way back there. Little guy. Not too little. Oh, man. Try to get a cast on that rock if you can. Yes. I'm kind of going into it, so try to get it before I end up in there. Oh, okay. It's not as deep as I thought it was. I thought it was going to be good back there, but another solid little fish on top water. There's a ton like this that are probably about 14, 14 and a half inches. I'll let him go. There's been some thunder, and the clouds are looking really dark, so we might get rained on, but that's like perfect, you know, pre front conditions is like perfect for top water. Oh, watch your paddles. Maybe it's Edward's paddle. Are we about to get bad right now? I mean, it said 90% thunderstorms at one. It's 1215. It's really not the best to have like a graphite rod that you're sticking up seven feet in the air when it's like thunder. And I'm, I'm in water. Yeah, that too. You know I have your paddle right here, Edward. Mm -hmm. You know I have your paddle. Where'd it go? You're oblivious. It went down river and I got it. Found it. Nice. 
There's one. All right. I just cast it off the the smaller size. Man, spicy one. I just cast it off the smaller size lure, and I was like, oh, I forgot I have another one on, so I just threw this one in there and got a fish, but he's a little, looks like he's gonna flail a bunch. Gotta be careful when they wanna go crazy. Well, there we go, there's our first fish since we got back out here. It did, I mean, it started pouring pretty bad with thunder and lightning, so we kinda took shelter for a while, and we just got back out here. There's one. Another one. Not much longer. Got him. Yeah, man, we're, we're in an area where there's not as many shoals right now, so I think we'll be catching more spotted bass. It's another little spot. We've caught so many right around the size today, just like in the 12 to 14 inch range. It's pretty much all the fish I've caught have been right around there. That one's probably a little 12 incher. Oh my gosh, next cast. Maybe it's not a bad thing that rain. Sometimes it's worse after the rain, but. All right, there we go. That was legit my next cast. Oh, one of the hooks broke off. This guy's bleeding a little bit, but it's maybe like a 13 incher. Let him go. And maybe this is a sign that the Bass Pro one isn't as high quality, but one of the hooks came off from the treble. I don't know when that happened. I just now noticed it. I mean, it might make hooking fish a little worse. I don't think it'll have a huge disadvantage, but. There's one. Wow, such shallow water. Ooh. I don't know if that hit was on camera or not. It's gotta be a spot. It might be my biggest of the day. Ooh, it's not bad, it's not bad. It's a pretty good one. Dude, that's a, oh, dude! Oh my gosh. Mmm. That's annoying. That was like an 18 inch spot. I'd say around 18. That was a really good fish in such shallow water too. We're in like, such spotted bass territory right now. And yeah, I am missing one of the trebles, I don't know. I think I horsed them in a little too much with the braid. Oh, that hurts. I mean, the bite is on right now. There we go. Ooh, it's another good one. Oh, it's, it's it might be a sholey too, what in the world? No, it's a spot. Oh my gosh, it's a pretty good spot. Man, okay. I don't know if it's quite as good as that one we lost a second ago, but it's another good fish, which is a good sign. I mean, maybe we'll start getting into some good spotted bass territory up here. All right, y'all, there's the biggest fish of the day. That one we lost a second ago was significantly bigger, probably a couple more inches. This guy's probably at least 16 and a half. It's, not a bad fish. It looks like he's spot surely hybrid. You can kind of see as a lateral line, but it's a little bit more vertical. It's typical of these spot surely hybrids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm at 11, should be 12. You're pissing me off, so I had to... Oh, no mercy for a little while. Uh, Zach saw me catch two and two casts. Yeah. Okay, he's 16 and a half. All right, we'll let this one go. Spicy little one there. It's taking a second. It'll find its way. Oh yeah, there it goes. <laughs> Sometimes it may just take a second. Oh, got him. Right there. Dude, I mean, the bite is on right now. These spots, oh man. I might switch lures, I mean. I don't think it's all because of that double hook, you know, with a missing treble, but it's definitely uh, decreasing my chances of landing some of these fish. Yep, one just hit it. There we go. Dude. 
This is really some spotted bass water. Little tiny guy. Of course we land this guy and miss the big one. This might be the uh, smallest fish of the day for me. It seems like there's some quality spotted bass in this area. So I might want to switch to like a, ah, a bull shad wake bait. I, I haven't really used it much. I think I've only caught one fish on it this winter when I was down in Florida. I mean, I know, I know this top water will work well, but that bull shad will, or the bull shad wake bait, I think will definitely work well. Or I mean, it could. I, I just think it could catch bigger fish. It might not call it, catch as many. got my biggest fish of the day there we're in a section of river that's much more of a spotted bass area there's like not many shoals and i've hooked in some quality fish this is a 17 and a half incher nothing crazy big but i had that one at the kayak i lost it was probably 18 so i might switch lures here to a bigger uh, lure but for now we'll go ahead and release this guy here comes zach uh, i could show zach the fish Oh, put on a ship. <laughs> he went under the kayak. Uh, oh, there he goes. He's, he made it under. I'm gonna end the video here. Oh my gosh, right there. No way. That was my second cast. Are you kidding me? It's tiny. It might be tiny, but that gives me confidence on it. Gosh on that bull shad wake bait. That was wild. That was my second cast. All right, we might not need to even touch the trap though. If it's catching, that, that's literally the smallest fish I've caught today. If it's gonna catch an eight inch bass, I think we'll be fine. That was wild. Like it hit the water and that little dude just nailed it. this thing it's a bit of a different bite than the uh, chopo that's my third hit on it second one I've hooked and landed but uh, it's another small one I do feel like I would definitely would have caught more fish by now if I was using the chopo but I'm trying to use a different lure and get a big one so even though we've only caught two small ones on it I still think it definitely has the potential to catch a big one all right y'all Edward Zach and I are probably only halfway done with our float today. We got a really long float, but I think I'm gonna switch things up. So I caught a ton of fish on that Bass Pro Chopo thing. I actually only landed 13, which isn't which isn't insane. That is a lot of fish. Um, I had a lot of fish come off at the boat today, which is a little bit frustrating, but still, nonetheless, we've been catching a lot, especially on this last little stretch. We caught a ton of spotted bass. So I think my plan now is to switch lures, which will probably be in a different video. And I think I'm gonna switch to that six inch bull shad wake bait, which is, I've hardly used. I bought it last winter for a trip down to Florida, caught like one little bass on it. But I think those bull shads are pretty good bait to uh, catch big spot of bass. So I'm gonna switch to that here. So you'll have to stay tuned for that video coming out soon. But anyway, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. But I'll catch y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching.